Oh, there's my shameless plug. All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about differentiating and integrating power series. And this stuff is uh, can be a, quite a bit tricky, I think, the first time you've seen it. Um, but the idea is, if you know a power series, you can manipulate it to come up with a different power series for a power series representation of another function. So we're going to start off here finding a power series representation for the function x squared divided by 1 minus 2x squared. And again, you can write this, you can pull the x squared out front and have 1 over the quantity 1 minus 2x squared. The key observation to get you started in this is to notice that if you take the derivative of 1 over 1 minus 2x to the first power, you'll get, well, not quite what we want, but we'll get 2 over 1 minus 2x squared. Okay, And this again is kind of the key observation in this problem. Well, why is this the key observation? The reason is we can we know how to find a power series representation for this function 1 over um, 1 minus 2x. I did that in the other video, um, finding uh, power series representations for functions. And this is just going to be from n equals 0 to infinity. We'll get 2x raised to the n power. And if I want to, I could write this simply as from n equals 0 to infinity, 2 to the n x, excuse me, 2 to the x, 2 to the n, x to the n. Okay, so we now know that 1 over 1 minus 2x is equivalent to this 2 to the n, x to the n. So the idea is, if I take the derivative of 1 over 1 minus 2x, that's going to equal the derivative of this right hand side of this summation from n equals 0 to infinity of 2 to the n x to the n and you can almost take derivatives of this stuff just like normal okay so the derivative is simply going to be we'll have to be careful with our index but 2 to the n is just a constant. The n will come out front, and then we'll get x to the n minus 1. Notice if I were to write out this original power series, my first term, I would get a constant, then something to a first power. When I take the derivative of that, I should get a constant out as my first term, which means I'm going to need to start this series at n equals 1. Okay, so I can actually rewrite this index. So it says what we have is is that the derivative with respect to x of 1 over 1 minus 2x is equal to this series. But I'm going to rewrite this series. I'm going to start it at n equals 0. And if you decrease the index by 1, I need to increase everything by 1. And you can check that if you plug n equals 1 here, n equals 0 in here, everything's going to start at the right place. Okay, but we said the derivative with respect to x of 1 over 1 minus 2x is um, this 2 over 1 minus 2x quantity squared. So really I've got a power series representation for not quite what I want, but for the function 2 over 1 minus 2x squared. Okay, well again, I was interested in finding a power series representation for x squared over 1 minus 2x squared. And notice I can get x squared over the quantity 1 minus 2x quantity squared by writing that as x squared over 2 times 2 over 1 minus 2x quantity squared. Right, if I just multiply this out, my 2's will cancel, um, and I'll get the original x squared over 1 minus 2x squared like I wanted. But the point is, I now know a power series representation for this thing. It's this stuff right up here. So I can now write this as x squared over 2 times the series from n equals 0 to infinity of 2 to the n plus 1 times n plus 1 multiplied by x to the n power 
and now it's the same thing as before you can just basically multiply this stuff back through so I'll have from n equals 0 to infinity I've got 2 to the n plus 1 I'm dividing by 2 that's just gonna leave me with a 2 to the n my n plus 1 stays the same if I multiply my x squared by my x to the n I'll get x to the n plus 2 and that'll be a power series representation okay so not the easiest thing in the world I would say this if this is the first time you've seen this stuff probably a little easy to get lost in there somewhere so you know take a look at this and um, you know you may have to look at this a couple times before it really makes some sense okay let me do one other one here just so you've got another one to look at um, and in this case we want to find a power series representation for arc tangent of 2x and just like in the last one the key observation here is that if you take the derivative of arc tangent of 2x well you'll get 2 over the quantity 1 plus 4x squared well if you take the derivative of something and get something new if you integrate that something new you get right back to the original function up to a constant so I can pull the 2 out front and then I've got 1 over 1 plus 4x squared and what I'm going to do is though I can find a power series representation for 1 over 1 plus 4x squared um, so this is going to be the series from n equals 0 to infinity of the quantity negative 4x squared raised to the n power okay so we can keep rewriting this clean this up maybe a little bit more from n equals 0 to infinity I'm gonna write this as negative 4 to the n power x to the 2 n power and now what I'm gonna do just like I took a derivative of the last part I'm just gonna integrate this right hand side okay so I'm gonna get 2 times the summation from n equals 0 to infinity negative 4 to the n is just a constant well if I integrate remember you add 1 to the power so I'll get x to the 2n plus 1 and I'll divide by this new power 2n plus 1 and what this again is now this is going to be a power series representation right we said if we integrate this thing which is actually what we did we just integrated it in a power series form it says that's going to be an equivalent expression for arctangent of 2x plus c okay and at at this point um, you know there's a couple different ways that you could uh, could probably simplify this thing down I wouldn't worry about it tremendously the only thing I would do at this point really is I would probably just try to figure out you want to get rid of this plus c because our original expression didn't have a plus c in there right it was just arctangent of 2x but this series representation is valid um, well you'd have to find the interval of convergence we'll assume it's valid for x equals 0 and it is notice if you plug in x equals 0 on the left side you'll get arctangent of 0 plus c if we plug in x equals 0 onto the right side of our series we're gonna get zeros to powers well these are all the terms are going to become zeros so we're adding up infinitely many zeros and multiplying that by two we'll actually just get zero on the right side arctangent of zero is zero so we'll simply get that c equals zero in this case so maybe just to clean it up a little bit it says that arctangent of 2x is equal to two times the series from n equals zero to infinity okay uh, I'm gonna write this as negative 1 to the n notice you could write 4 as 2 squared so I can actually write that as 2 squared raised to the n power then I have x to the 2n plus 1 power and this is all being divided by 2n plus 1 and now this 2 out front I can simply run that back inside I'll get from n equals 0 to infinity negative 1 to the n power I have 2 to the 2n. If I multiply by the 2 out front, I'll have 2n plus 1. And then I have x to the 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. Okay, and that's going to be a power series representation now for arctangent of 2x. So, again, I'm sure if this is the first time you've seen this stuff, it's like, whoa, that was pretty fast and pretty crazy. Take a look at them a couple times. Um, 
Again, if you have questions, shoot me an email. If you'd like to see some more examples of these, let me know. I'll be happy to go um, a little more in-depth if that'll help you more.